This is the requested tutorial for the hall pass receipt. So here it is. Let's start with the material. The first thing that I got was the printer and it's the Rongta. Here's the link. Uh, here's other receipt printers and uh, for this specific printer it's an 8 80 millimeter. The next thing is that you're going to need this link right here. This is the important part. It's the Google Form and Google Sheet template. When you click on it on the for the first time, uh, you're gonna come to see this, and you're gonna notice on the top it says use template. So go ahead and click on that. It will take you to your Google Drive, which is going to make a copy of the Google Sheet. And here it is. In your Google Drive, however, you're gonna see that there are two files and they should start with the word copy off. You may wanna rename these. So for my Google Form, I can go down and add or remove some of these locations, but that's it. Going back to the Google Sheet, at the bottom you're gonna see several tabs. One of them is the roster. The first thing we need to do is add names to my roster. In the roster, I want you to make sure that you understand that the unique ID is the email and the full name is on the right hand side. So if you have your roster backwards, I need you to change the email first and then the full name. Now I can copy and paste. Now that I have my list of students, the rest should be pretty simple. The print, you may want to make some changes for one is this image right here. You want to change it by going to insert, then select image, then select image in cell. As part down there at the bottom, I'm just going to add my school name. I can always change the font or how things look. And there it is. Before I continue, I want to do an actual test print, make sure that everything is coming out okay. And uh, in this case, instead of fit to hide, I'm going to select fit to width and then select next. And from the printers available, I'm going to select my thermal printer and I'm just going to select the smallest size available. One thing I did notice, however, is even though on the preview it shows a huge receipt, it actually comes out fairly small. So if I make the image smaller, the receipt will be even smaller than that. Now that it's working, I can assign this form to my Google Classroom because it only works from Google Classroom. And all students need to do is select where they're going. Even after a student has submitted, it's not gonna show here until the under request, select done, and you will see that the next student is available to go next. Now, if you wait too long, then the time is not gonna match the current time. If that's the case, um, once you allow the student to go, you may want to refresh first, so that you can see the new time and then you can print let me know if you have any questions